Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll start off the second assessment. So the second assessment is going to be on page uh, 55, um, and it's the top right question on page 55. Okay, so there's four questions on page 55. It's the top right question, uh, that question there. So, and if I don't have it, I'll send it all on the link as well. Right, so what we have here is front elevation is looking from A. So that's what we're going to see here. So we'll see this little rectangle here in the bottom. We'll see this rectangle here on the side. And the other rectangle we're going to see is this rectangle here. Uh, C is the plan, looking down from the top. So we will see one big rectangle like that. And we'll see two small rectangles in the left corner and the right corner. And the plan then is going to be looking from, or the, sorry, the end elevation is going to be looking from B. And that'll be the letter L. Uh, like that so I've done this question up here on, on SolidWorks so that's exactly what it looks like now what I'm going to do is there's different views here in SolidWorks so I can look straight at the object from the front elevation so if I go up here like this it will let me look at the front so this is the front elevation here and this is what we see we see one big rectangle in the bottom like I just mentioned and two rectangles going up on the side you can see the two lines join it there uh, so the first thing we're going to draw is the front elevation. I'll also color it in here so you can see it. So if I just move that around, and if I click on that face there, and go appearances, click on the face, and I'll just make that one um, yellow. Um, the other two are going to be that one and that one. So that's the front elevation uh, yellow. So I can see like that. Um, the next two then is the pl is the plan. We'll do the plan red. So I click this face, uh, appearances, uh, face, and I'll make that one red, which is going to be like that. And the other thing you'll see when you look down from the top is that rectangle and that rectangle. Uh, so that's that's the plan. And the end elevation then is looking in from this side here. And the two things you'll see in the end elevation is this L here and this, although this is directly behind that, so it's practically the same thing. There's a bit of hidden detail, which I'll go through in a second. So I'll click that there and I'll make this color here uh, blue. So click that face there and then make that blue and this one here blue as well. So what I have here now with this object is, if I just rotate around, you can see it. Um, I'll zoom in on it. So we have blue and blue for the end elevation, red and red for the plan, and yellow from the front. So if I go along and if I click the front elevation again, I will see just just um, just yellow. When I go along then and I turn it around and I look in from the side, I will just see blue, and that's the shape I'll get. And when I look down from on top which is uh, this one here, that's what I get. One big rectangle with two smaller rectangles. So what we have here is we'll start off with the front elevation and this is the this is the one looking in from the front. So it's more green than yellow. So it's this color um, here. So the height of the question is uh, 75. So same as last time, if the height of the question is 75, we'll come down from the top of our page a small bit more. So say about 90 millimeters. And the length of it this time is 100. So it's 100 millimeters from this corner here over to this corner here. And it's 75 high. 25 and the two towers are like 50 mil on top of that. So what we have here is... So I'm going to come down from the top of my page, 90 millimeters. So on the left hand side, I'll come down 90 and I'll make a mark. On the right hand side, I'll come down 90 and make another mark. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw my uh, XY line across the page, like uh, this. So as mentioned in the last video, that is called your X y line so the two drawings are going to be in your x y line is your front elevation 
and your end elevation and your plan. Now, this time in our question, uh, we are looking at our end elevation from the right hand side. So if we're looking at our end elevation on the right hand side, we'll be drawing our end elevation on the left because it projects onto that plane. So the front elevation this time is going to be on the right hand side of your page. Now as mentioned uh, before, the front elevation is 100 mil. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark 100. And I'm going to mark 100. Again, we have no T-square. Um, and the, the last questions you did was excellent. Uh, we want to do this line go up here, parallel to either here or here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a T-square. Um, I don't have a T-square. I'm going to put a set square on the bottom of the page like this. And I'm going to slide it over here to this point here. If you don't use the bottom of the page, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have lines going at angles. So keep it with the bottom of the page like that. And do a straight construction line lightly up the page like that. Same with this side here. Uh, put it on the bottom of the page like this. Keep it in line with it. Bring it over as far as there. And just draw it straight up the page like that. Now, the first little block was 25. So you can go along and make your mark here, 25. And you can make your mark um, on this side, 25. So there and there. The next one up from that then, after you do the 25 mil line, you can join these two together, was 50. Now, as well as the 25, we had two towers going up on either side, two little pillars. The thickness of them, and you'll see it on the top left of your question, was 25. So, what we're going to do is, after we go up uh, 25, we'll go up 50. So you put your ruler on zero, mark 50. Put your ruler on zero, mark 50. Then you'll draw a construction line across the two of them. When you draw a construction line across the two of them like this, you can measure in from the left hand side, 25. Measure in from the right hand side, 25. Measure in from the top, 25. And measure in from the bottom, or from the left hand side, 25. So they're all 25. Then you can go along and draw your line like this. And you can draw your line like that. Once you've done done in, you can go over your, your outline heavy. So all you're going to see in this question here is that line like that. Um, you come down to the bottom. Of the XY line like this. Same with this side. Draw your line like that. Straight across the bottom. This front rectangle is up 25, so you'll have a heavy line here like this. And you'll have your two heavy lines <coughs> like that. So there and there. And that now is, is your front elevation. So 100 by 75. It was in 25, up 25, uh, and that was 50 then. So once you have that done then, um, as as mentioned before, um, as mentioned before, what we have here is we have uh, the plan underneath it. Now, with the plan underneath it, all you need to do is um, bring your lines straight down your page like uh, like this. Okay, once you have your four lines down the page, what you can do then is you can step off your distance below. So as we mentioned with the last question, um, the distance between the views don't matter. That's up to yourself. So we usually have 20 uh, millimeters. So when you go along and you mark 20 millimeters like this, you make a mark on the right hand side, you make a mark on the left hand side. Then when you have 20 millimeters like that, you can draw a line across the two of those. And that's the first line of your plan. Now, with this question, the thickness of our plan will be written across here and it's 75 millimeters. So it's 75, once we have the thickness, we know that two corner squares are 25 by 25. So the first thing we're gonna do is mark down 75 millimeters, which is going to be like this. And mark 75 millimeters like that. And you're going to draw your line straight across. 
So that is our outside, um, that is our outside rectangle. You can go over that heavy. Now, because the two rectangles we're going to do, sorry, the two squares we're going to do are going to be both in the corners, that's why you brought the square is looking down on top of that little pillar there and there. That's why you bring this line down here, because this, your square down here is going to be going across as far as that line. It's going to be coming down 25. That corner is that line. It's the same object. This thickness here is this thickness because all you're doing is instead of looking straight in you're looking straight down it so the size don't matter so the size don't change either sorry so what we have here then is we come down 25 millimeters like this make a mark uh, 25 and make a mark here 25 and we can draw a straight line across like this then what we can do is we can go over that heavy and go over that heavy. Same with that, and same with that. And that now, that now is the plan uh, drawn. Okay, so then the last thing to do is the end elevation. And again, there's two different ways to do the end elevation. You can put your compass on this point here. So first thing you can do is put your compass on your point here like this and bring those lines there up to meet your end elevation like this so that's the first line the second line then you get your compass you open it out to this point here And you swing it around to there. If you don't want to use the compass, again, you can get your 45 degree set square, put it on the side of the, the sheet like this. So the end of the sheet, don't have it like this. So it's going an angle, have it straight, and just move it to the point, and you're going to get exactly the same point. It'll be exactly the same way. So either method, and don't do two of them, just pick one. So although I've done two here, just, just pick one of them. So once you have the 45, once you have the 45 brought over here uh, and the 45 here or the compass whichever way the next thing you're going to do is you're going to transfer these straight up the page so again use your t-square at the bottom which is the end of your page and bring that line straight up your page like this and straight up your page like Like that. Then, as well as transferring your lines from here, you also transfer your lines across because that is the same shape. You're looking in the front here. This object is like as if you're looking from the side here. So you bring that line across. And you bring the top line across. And one line I forgot to bring up from the bottom was, I brought up this point, I brought up this point. Along this line here, there's three points. There's one, two, and the third point is here. So you would also bring that point up, and that point would be like this. So put your compass down. Swing it around like that. Again, make sure it's straight in the bottom, and bring it straight up the page like like that and what we're going to see then is we're going to see our letter uh, L so we have when we look in the side of it we would have um, this shape here
Okay, so that is our our end elevation drawn. Now, when we're looking in with the CDL, behind this one here, there is another pillar or another tower, whatever you want to call it, on the other side. So what you have here is, um, ins inside this, if I just show you in this question here, so we've drawn the we've drawn the letter L, the blue here. There's a line going across here. So basically, that's called hidden detail. So it means it's there, but you can't see it when you're looking in from here. So if I was to look at, at this view again, uh, that's what I see. I just see the letter L, but I know behind there's a line going across here. And that line going across there is this line going across here. So what you have is you have hidden detail. Now, if this was glass, for instance, you would see the line. But if this was anything else, wood, whatever, you will not see it when you look here because that piece will be in the way. So when you have hidden detail, something that's there but you can't see it, you represent that on, on your sheet with a dashed line. So for the dashed line, this is what you'll see. You'll get your, your set square and you'll just go across that point and just make a dashed line like that. Okay, so once you've that done again, you're, you're, you're finished. Now there is more things. You could probably do the colors of the view. I am getting you to do a second exercise. And the second exercise is to do a sketch of the 3D objects. So the three isometric views here, front elevation, you can label it, plan, end elevation, label your XY, do your border. You can do the colors if you want, the same as I did. So yellow or green for the front, uh, red for the plan, blue for the end. It doesn't matter. You make up the colors yourself. But uh, if uh, what I'd like you to do is when you've that done, so I'll send you on a picture of this. When you've that done, uh, if you could turn over the page, and I'd like you to do a three D sketch of the object. So you have a small bit more um, homework to do this week. Now you're you're getting a good few days to get it done. So if you turn over your page like this, so what we have here is you turn over your page like that. Uh, on your page, you will go along and you will get. So I can just use a second page. Might be easier. Uh, and you'll have, you'll have two pictures then sent in to me. I want you to do a 3D sketch of the object. So this is the object. This is the object here. And this is the sketch. So uh, I'm going to now I know if you've traced it, it'll be very easy to know because uh, it's a sketch, it's not straight lines. Um, I, I want you to just go along and sketch it as best as possible. And I'm going to go through now how to sketch it. So this would be how you'd sketch that object. So first thing you would make your, uh, and this, this can be very rough. This is only just practice. You make your rectangle like that. So you have your line here like this, roughly 30 degree angle. Same with that line and your line coming straight down. Once you have your line straight down, parallel, parallel, Parallel. And parallel. So that's that's the base. That's the first thing. So once you've that done, you can go along and you can do your two squares. So that's one square. And this is your other square. Now I'm rushing this. You can take a lot longer. Uh, I'm just going to try and do it as quick as possible. When you have your two squares done, go straight up. You can... Rub this out, rub the two inside lines out, that line and that line, that line and that line. And what you can do is you can go straight up and straight up like that. Again, parallel to this line, you go parallel to this line. So I'll make them parallel and this line, parallel to this line, parallel here again on top and parallel. That's the first one. This one here then, what you're going to do here is you're going to go straight up like that. Again, parallel to this side. Parallel, straight up. Straight up. So, this line here should be parallel to the bottom. That line going across there. This line here, parallel, parallel to there. And this line here, parallel to there. So what you would have is, and you rub out your inside lines there, and there, and th this this is the shape. This is the shape you would um, 
you would get. So I'll go over here now and pin. Now once you have this done, uh, what you can do is you can rub out the, the pencil lines, give it about a minute uh, to dry so you don't smudge your page and you can rub out the pencil lines. And when you rub out the pencil lines you should get a clearer outline and definition of the of the shape. So that's very that's very quick now and that's very um it's it's rough enough but it's perfect. The one line that I'm missing is this line here across the, the bottom so once that's done then what i can do is i can i can rub that out so rub, rub all the pencil lines out like that just to make it as clear as possible Okay, so that would be a rough sketch of it. And again then, what you can do is, if you've coloured in your orthographic, um, you can go along, again with this page, you can put border, you can put 3D sketch. Um, and using the colours you've done last time, so if it was yellow, and yellow, or green, green, red looking down, red, you can correlate colours with what you did last time. So it's up to you, again, this is 25% of your summer exam. So the main thing uh, here is to get um, this attempted and complete, and this attempted and complete um, by the deadline. Don't worry if you think you've one or two little mistakes, that's fine. Once you